Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 7.2 acid based titration. In this video, what we're going to learn is actually we're going to learn how to answer the past year question regarding the acid based titration itself. On your notes, it will be on page 21. So let's look for the first question for PSPM 2020-2021. In an experiment, 25 mL of 0.5 molar of our acid CH3COOH or our ethanol acid was titrated against 0.5 molar of sodium hydroxide solution using phenolphthalein as indicator. The end point is reached when 25 ml of sodium hydroxide solution was added. So actually, okay, for the titration, we have our um, conical flask and then we have our burette. So in our beaker or in our conical flask, we have our acid. Okay, and then in our burette, we have our sodium hydroxide. So the end point is reached when 25 ml of sodium hydroxide is added. Okay, so how does it look like? So I'm just going to show you. It will be like this lah. So again, in this conical flask, we will reach the end point. Okay, where we have our acid. Okay, this is the concentration and this is the volume based on the question itself. And then this is the concentration and the solution. This is the volume when it has already reached we have. When we already reach um the end point itself, where the indicator have changed the color. So actually, from here we have our volume. Right now, our volume in of our solution is fifty mil. Okay. The next question asks you to determine the concentration of the product. So to determine the concentration of product, we have to write down the um equation of our uh, acid and base. Uh, we'll form our salt plus H2O. So I'm just going to write down these, both of the reactant of our acid and base. Okay, again, we have to include the state, whether it's solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous. Okay, in this chapter, usually we're um, concerning ourselves with aqueous and liquid. Liquid is specifically for H2O. Lah. Any of the solution, usually we're going to take as aqueous. So this two is actually an aqueous. Okay, so what will be the product? Again, it will be salt plus with water. Or it's actually sama je lah, water plus salt. It's actually where the position is lah. Okay, so again, where do we get the water to? The water to actually, the acid will dissociate the H plus. The base will dissociate with its OH minus where it will combine and form H2O liquid. Okay, so what we have left is actually CH3COO with an A. So CH3COO minus and NA plus will combine to form CH3COO and A. How about the state? Since this is a solution, uh, equal solution lah. Okay, so I'm just going to write it down here. Okay, so this will be the equation lah. Huh? So as you can see, I've rearranged it. Okay, the question asks to determine the concentration of the product. Okay, concentration of product ni yang mana we want is actually our yang CH3CO and A ni lah. Okay, so how do we find out the concentration? Concentration, the other name for it is molarity. Okay, how to find the molarity? Okay, molarity is actually or our capital M equal to mole divided by volume. Where the volume must be in liter. Okay, so for the volume itself, okay, we have our acid here, 25, 25. Uh, the product itself ni actually volume the 50 lah when we added this, those two value. Okay, so volume here, it mentioned it must be in liter. So I'm just going to change it straight away here, 0, 0.05 liter. Okay, but then how do we find out the mole? Okay, usually mole kita cari um, mass divided by molar mass. But then from the information, we don't have any mass lah. Okay, so how we're going to find out the mole or our N, we're going to use this one. The formula where N equal to MV over 1000. Okay, this chapter mostly kita guna this formula eh. M stands for molarity, V stands for the volume. Volume ni must be in ML. That's why they divide by 1000. Okay. So, macam mana nak cari mole yang ni? Okay, so as we can see, semua ni, all of this is one-to-one -one ratio. So, back to our stoichiometry, chapter 1. One mole of our acid equivalent to one mole of our product ni lah. Sebab as you can see here, one mole, one mole. Okay. So, I'm just going to write down here. 
uh, one mole of our CH3COOH. Okay, they're equivalent to our one mole of product, lah, the one that we're going to find out. Okay, so can we find out the mole of our acid? Okay, we can. We're going to use this one. Molarity is 0 0.5, volume is 25 mil. So I'm just going to substitute the value. Okay, and then you can find out the, um, the mole is actually 0 0.0125 mole okay so we know that the mole of acid is actually 0 0.0125 mole so since it's a one to one ratio so one mole of acid equivalent one mole of product so we know that the number of mole number of mole of our product or our salt ch3cona is equivalent to 0 0.0125 mole okay so this one, we're going to find out the mole already, the volume, the volume to this one, 0 0.05. So, I'm just going to find out, okay, molarity, or you're just going to write down capital M pun boleh. Just I'll write down again, number of mole divided by volume, volume must be in liter. Number of mole kita, we're going to, uh, we have find out 0 0.0125, divide by volume. Okay, volume when we added both of our acid and base. So, 50 ml. Then, we want it, it to be in liter. 0 0.05. So, the molarity will be 0 0.25 molar. So, that's the final answer lah. Okay, to determine the concentration of the product. Okay. So, when you determine the concentration of the product, first is actually, you have to write down the equation. Uh, it's quite straightforward. Uh, our acid, we do CCH, base OH to form H2O. The other one, gabungkanlah what is left. Cumanya, to find out the concentration, I, I believe you already remember the formula. It's just that for the mole, we can't use mass divided by molar mass. We're going to use this one. Okay, where we have the formation. And then only substitute it. Okay, then we get the, uh, the answer itself. So, that's for question number one. Next one is to determine the pH of the solution at the end point. Okay, to determine the solution at the end point. Okay, again, solution we have CH3COONA with H2O. This is actually, we're going to look for the reaction of our salt itself. It is actually revision of 7.1 salt hydrolysis. So, which one? Kat mana kita dah belajar salt hydrolysis? Uh, we have learned on page 9. Salt hydrolysis ni lah. Okay, again, where acid and base will react to form salt and water. And then, for the salt hydrolysis itself, you have to show um, the reaction lah. Okay, uh, our salt dissociation equation, we're going to dissociate it into its separate ion. And then, we're going to react it with H2O. So, this question is to determine the pH of the solution at the end point. Uh, this one, we're going to dissociate it into its separate, separate, separate ion. So, how we're going to um, write it down? So, we ju we're just going to take, okay. So, for CH3COONA, okay, if we dissociate it, it will become the separate one. It will become CH3COO minus equals plus and a plus equals okay okay and then we have to react it with h2o okay so hydrolysis is actually when we react um our acid here or our ion with water okay uh, but then for the case of na plus it is actually a stable ion so what is actually a stable ion stable ion too it means that okay kalau na kan the um the electron configuration is 2.8.1 for this is for na na plus it will be 2.8 so uh, it's actually a stable ion lah. I already achieved that kind. So, it, it has no reaction. It won't react with water. Okay. But then, our CH3COO- will react with our water itself. Okay. So, how to write down the equation? 
I'm going to write down CH3COO minus equals. We'll react with our water plus H2O liquid. Okay. So, this one, it will become. So, what happened here? You This one will be our reversible arrow. Okay. Our CH3COO minus. Okay. It will take the H2O or the H plus from our H2O here lah. Okay. So, we become CH3 COOH equals. Okay. And then what is left is actually OH minus equals. Okay. So, what will happen is that uh, it will, this is actually a base, a negative charge ni. Okay. Negative charge ni is actually... I'm just going to write down the base. Okay. They can accept H plus. So, H2O will be acid. They don't need H plus. Okay. So, this is actually salt hydrolysis lah. A revision form 7.1. Okay. We have. So, that's why it will become CH3, COOH plus OH minus. Okay. And then, uh, how do we know it? Okay. So, this is to determine the pH of the solution. So, to determine the pH of the solution, uh, we don't have to write down like specific upper. It's just that we can see, we can find out the OH minus is present, can? So, we're gonna just write it down since OH minus is present. Okay, so uh, the solution is. Basic lah sebab ada OH minus. But then the question itself. Minta determine the pH. So determine the pH. If you only answer basic. You haven't answered the question yet lah. Okay. Okay. So just gonna add a uh, footnote at the end here. Okay. Kalau pH. Oops. If um pH more than eh less than 7 is acid. PH more than 7 is basic ataupun base. Okay. So, and then we have to answer lah. The PH is more than. See, I'm going to write down. So, I'm just going to write down. So, since it, uh, the PH, since it is a basic, basic solution. Okay. Or it's a base. So, the PH is more than 7. So, that will be the answer lah. It's not specifically then, we, do, we don't have to uh, calculate like, spe uh, specifically 8.9 ke, 9.2 ke. It's just that you have to tell it whether it's more than 7 or less than 7. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, that is actually the solution for the PSPM 20, 20 and 2021 for the question for acid-based titration.